Yui buried millions of gallons of salt water under sand. Result isn't real. Whispers are swirling through the dunes of the UAE rumors that Dubai, the glittering heart of the Emirates, is pumping millions of gallons of salt water deep beneath the scorching desert sand. They say it's all happening underground, hidden from the blazing sun, in a feat so audacious it sounds like a plot from a sci-fi blockbuster. Well, brace yourself. Because these rumors are not just true they're mind-blowing. In a land where water is scarcer than a rainy day, Dubai was once trapped in a relentless water shortage crisis. But not anymore. The UAE has pulled off the impossible, burying salt water under the sand to create a lifeline that defies the desert itself. Why would they hide water underground when every drop is desperately needed on the surface? We all know Dubai sits in one of the driest corners of the planet no rivers, no lakes, just endless sand and sun. Yet, yeah, this city of skyscrapers, dancing fountains, and lush gardens has done something so unreal it'll leave you speechless. They've built an underground river system without a single natural river to s. Tart with, crazy right? Buckle up. Because Dubai's water saga is a roller coaster of human ingenuity, futuristic tech, and a spicy dash of Emirati Masala that'll keep you glued to every twist and turn. A desert metropolis that laughs at nature. Dubai is a paradox a dazzling oasis of 3.4 million people, 14 million tourists a year, and iconic landmarks like the Burj Khalifa and Palm Jumeirah. All thriving in a desert where rain is a rare guest, averaging just 100 millimeters for inches annually. Temperatures soar to 50 C 1 to 2 F, turning the sand into a furnace, yet, this city never runs dry. Its fountains dance, its golf courses gleam green, and its residents live in luxury, all while surrounded by one of the harshest environments on Earth. How does Dubai pull it off? By rewriting the rules of nature with a water empire that's as bold as its skyline. From dams in the mountains to pipelines snaking beneath the dunes. From desalination plants to recycled rivers, Dubai's water story is a masterclass in defying dots. Let's dive into this epic tale and uncover the real results of burying salt water under the sand. Catching the desert's fleeting tears, Dubai's dam's reign in Dubai is like a VIP who shows up unannounced rare, dramatic, and gone before you know it. When it rains, it pours, turning dry riverbeds, or wadis, into torrents that can flood entire neighborhoods. Without intervention, this water vanishes into the sand or evaporates under the desert's relentless heat. Dubai's answer. A network of five major dams designed to trap every precious drop. The star of the show is the Hadda Dam, perched in the rugged Hayar Mountains, 130 kilometers east of Dubai's neon-lit skyline. Built between 1998 and 2001, the Hadda Dam is a marvel, holding 23 million cubic meters 6 billion gallons of water in its reservoir. It's not just a storage tank, it's a lifeline for flood control, irrigation, and recharging groundwater in the Hadda region, where farmers tend date palms in the shadow of ancient traditions. Other dams, like the Al Weir Dam and Wadi Ham Dam, play similar roles, with a combined storage capacity of over 12 billion gallons. These dams are strategically placed to capture water from Wadis during rare storms, which can dump enough rain in a day to supply entire districts. Without them, the water would be lost to evaporation or flash floods that carve through the desert like a runaway freight train. The genius of Dubai's dams lies in their ability to tame the desert's unpredictability. Rainfall is erratic some years bring generous storms, others barely a drizzle. The dams ensure no drop goes to waste, storing and treating water for homes, farms, and industries. It's a high-stakes game, and Dubai plays it with the precision of a chess grandmaster, turning fleeting rain into a steady lifeline. Groundwater, the desert's ancient vault. Beneath Dubai's sands lies a secret that's been locked away for millennia. Massive underground aquifers holding an estimated 15 trillion gallons of groundwater. That's enough to fill 20 to million Olympic-sized swimming pools a treasure chest hidden under the desert. But here's the catch, only about 500 billion gallons is renewable, slowly recharged by the occasional rain that seeps through the sand. The rest is fossil water ancient reserves trapped underground from a time when the Arabian Peninsula was a lush paradise, with rivers and lakes thousands of years ago. This fossil water is a double-edged sword. It's a massive reserve, but once pumped out, it's gone forever, like burning through your life savings with no income. 
The Bai is careful to lean on renewable groundwater for daily needs drinkings, sanitation, and small-scale farming. But the city's thirst is relentless. With 3.4 million residents, millions of tourists, and water-hungry industries, Dubai consumes over 300 billion gallons annually. Agriculture, supporting the UAE's food security push, guzzles water like a marathon runner. Add in luxury uses think dancing fountains and manicured golf courses and the strain on groundwater is immense. Here's where the masala kicks in. Dubai's groundwater is a fragile lifeline. Overpumping could deplete fossil water in 50 to 100 years, leaving the city parched. Geological surveys warn that unsustainable extraction is like playing Russian roulette with the dessert. So, Dubai's engineers looked to the Arabian Gulf, shimmering like a liquid gold mine, and hatched a plan so audacious it's almost unbelievable. Bury salt water under the sand to create a lifeline that never runs dry. Desalination, turning the gulf into a fountain why bury salt water? Because Dubai's turning it into fresh water. With the Arabian Gulf at its doorstep, the Emirates saw an opportunity to transform salty brine into a lifeline. Its desalination plants are futuristic powerhouses, none more impressive than the Jebel Ali desalination plant. A $2.5 billion giant that pumps out 640 million gallons of fresh water daily. That's enough to fill 960 Olympic pools every single day. Across Dubai, 12 major plants produce 1.2 billion gallons daily, making the UAE the world's top producer of desalinated water. These plants use reverse osmosis, a high-tech process that forces seawater through ultra-fine membranes to strip out salt and impurities. The result? Water so pure it could rival a Himalayan spring. But this magic isn't cheap. Desalination guzzles electricity like a fleet of supercars, making it three to five times pricier than traditional water sources. It also produces brine, a super salty byproduct that can choke marine life if not handled carefully. Dubai is tackling this with advanced brine dilution systems, dispersing it to minimize environmental harm, but it's a constant balancing act. By 2025, desalination accounts for 43% of Dubai's water supply, with plans to hit 70% by 2030. The Hassian plant, another titan, churns out 180 million gallons daily, powering industrial zones and new developments like Dubai South. The Emirates also pioneering solar-powered desalination, using the desert sun to cut energy costs and carbon footprints. It's a bold leap, but in a city that built the world's tallest building, bold is just the starting line. The underground river, the Dubai's hidden masterpiece. Here's where the rumors of buried salt water come to life. Dubai didn't just desalinate water. They built an underground river to carry it across the Emirates. This isn't a natural stream but a colossal network of pipelines, stretching over five. Zero miles of late end to end longer than the Nile and Amazon combined. These pipes, some wider than a car, snake beneath the desert. Delivering desalinated water from the Gulf to every corner of Dubai from the bustling socks of Dara to the futuristic Expo City. Why bury salt water underground? Because it's not salt water by the time it reaches the pipes it's fresh, desalinated water, protected from the desert's 50 Celsius heat. Surface pipes would lose water to evaporation faster than a mirage fades. By burying the pipelines deep, Dubai shields the water from heat, contamination, and sandstorms that sweep through like angry gins. The system maintains pressure and flow efficiency, ensuring water reaches inland cities like Alain and remote farms without a hitch. Building this network was a saga of epic proportions. Engineers carved through the higher mountains with tunnel boring machines and controlled explosions, battling dense granite and limestone that resisted every blast. In the open desert, workers faced shifting dunes, flash floods, and temperatures so high they worked at dawn or midnight to avoid heat stroke. The pipes, made of corrosion-resistant steel, were laid with surgical precision to prevent leaks or collapses. The result? An invisible river that's as reliable as it is unreal, pumping life into a city that thrives on defying limits. Wastewater wizardry, turning waste into wealth. The Dubai's water game isn't just about pulling from the sea or ground, it's about reusing what's already there. The Emirate operates 40 wastewater treatment plants, processing 700 million gallons daily as of 2025. This isn't just flushing water down the drain, it's cleaned, treated, and reborn for irrigation, industrial cooling, and maintaining green spaces like the Dubai Miracle Garden, 
where 60 million flowers bloom in defiance of the dessert. By 2030, Dubai aims to recycle 90% of its wastewater, a target that's as ambitious as its skyline. The Jebel Ali treatment plan, one of the largest, handles 300 million gallons daily, using advanced filtration to produce water clean enough for agriculture and landscaping. This recycled water keeps Dubai's golf courses green, its palm trees swaying, and its parks thriving, all while easing the pressure on groundwater and desalination. It's a circular economy in action waste becomes wealth, and every drop counts. The masala here. Dubai's turning something as mundane as wastewater into a cornerstone of its survival, proving that even the dessert can't stop its hustle. Greening the dessert, Dubai's oasis dream. Now, let's spice things up with Dubai's boldest vision yet, the Green Dubai Initiative. A plan to plant 100 million trees by 2040, transforming barren sands into fertile oases. This isn't just about pretty parks, it's a war on desertification, boosting soil fertility, and cooling a city where summer feels like a furnace. Native trees like Gaff and Sidr, built to survive the desert's wrath, are the stars, creating habitats for wildlife and shade for residents. The Hatta Green Belt, a lush corridor in the mountains, has planted to million trees since 2023, cooling local temperatures by up to 4C. In urban areas, Expo City's urban forest weaves green spaces into the city's fabric, reducing air pollution by 15% and cutting harmful PM to 0.5 particles that trigger respiratory issues. Dubai's streets, often hitting for 5C, are becoming more livable, with shade and greenery turning concrete jungles into breathable oases. But it's not just trees. Dubai's greening efforts include vertical gardens on skyscrapers, rooftop farms, and hydroponic systems that grow food with 90% less water than traditional agriculture. The sustainable city, a net zero community, uses solar power and recycled water to grow crops, proving Dubai can feed itself without draining its reserves. By 2025, 10 million trees are in the ground, with millions more planned each year. It's a vision of a Dubai that's not just a desert metropolis but a green, thriving paradise a transformation so unreal it feels like a dream. The spicy catch, can Dubai keep the water flowing? Here's the masala twist that keeps you on edge. Dubai's water wizardry is a marvel, but it's walking a tightrope. The population is set to hit 5 million by 2030, and water demand is growing faster than a Dubai skyscraper. Desalination provides 43% of the city's water, but it's expensive and energy-intensive. Groundwater, especially fossil water, is a ticking clock geologists estimate it could run dry in 50 to 100 years if overpumped. Rainfall. It's a gamble, with climate change making storms even less predictable. The environmental cost adds more spice. Desalination's brine can harm marine ecosystems, and the energy it consumes mostly from gas plants clashes with Dubai's green ambitions. The Emirates fighting back with solar-powered desalination and AI-driven water management systems like the Dua Smart Grid, which cuts waste by 15% using real-time leak detection. But the stakes are high. If fossil water dries up, or if energy costs soar, Dubai could face a water crunch that even its ingenuity might struggle to solve. It's a high-stakes drama, and the world's watching to see how Dubai plays its next move. The Water Warriors, a story of grit and glory. Now, let's add some Desi drama to this saga with a story that brings Dubai's water miracle to life. Meet Aisha, a young Emirati engineer with dreams as big as the Burj Khalifa. Born in the shadow of Dubai's skyscrapers, Aisha grew up hearing tales of her Bedouin ancestors, who survived the desert by reading the stars and cherishing every drop of water. But by 2015, as Dubai's population boomed and its fountains dazzled the world, Aisha saw a crisis looming. The city's groundwater was dwindling, and the desert was tightening its grip. She vowed to find a way to keep Dubai's taps flowing not just for her generation, but for her children's children. Aisha joined the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority duo, where she met Khalid, a grizzled engineer who'd spent decades battling the desert's challenges. Khalid was a skeptic, hardened by years of failed experiments and the harsh reality of Dubai's water scarcity. You can't fight the desert. He'd grumble, pointing to maps of shrinking aquifers. But Aisha's fire was contagious. She had a vision. Bury desalinated water under the sand, create an underground river, and turn the gulf into Dubai's lifeline. Khalid scoffed, 
But deep down, he saw the spark of genius in her plan. Their journey wasn't easy. The project to build the underground pipeline system was a beast. Aisha and Khalid led a team of engineers, workers, and scientists into the higher mountains, where granite and limestone stood like ancient guardians. Tunnel boring machines roared through the night, and controlled explosions shook the earth. But progress was slow. One sweltering summer day in 2018, a flash flood swept through the construction site, nearly washing away months of work. We're mad to think we can tame this dessert. Khalid shouted, wiping sweat from his brow. But Aisha stood firm, her eyes blazing. We're not taming it, she said. We're making it our partner. The team pushed on, laying pipes wider than a camel's back across 5,000 miles of dessert. Workers battled sandstorms that stung like a thousand scorpions and temperatures that melted boots. Aisha spent sleepless nights poring over designs, ensuring every pipe was sealed against leaks that could doom the project. Khalid, inspired by her grit, found new ways to optimize water flow, using AI to predict pressure drops and prevent failures. By 2020, the first section of the underground river was complete, carrying desalinated water from the Jebel Ali plant to the heart of Dubai. The city cheered as fountains sparkled and farms bloomed, but Aisha and Khalid knew the real battle was just beginning. Their next challenge was the Green Dubai Initiative. Aisha dreamed of a city where trees shaded every street, cooling the air and breathing life into the sand, but planting 100 million trees in a desert. Even Khalid thought it was madness. They started in Hadda, where the dam's water nourished the first saplings of gap trees. Local farmers, like Fatima, a grandmother who'd tended date palms her whole life, joined the cause. This land was green once, Fatima told Aisha, her eyes misty with memory. Maybe it can be again. Together, they planted millions of trees, turning barren dunes into green corridors that dropped temperatures by 4 Celsius and gave wildlife a home. But the desert fought back. In 2023, a brutal drought hit, and water shortages loomed. Aisha's team raced to expand the desalination plants, integrating solar power to cut costs. Khalid, now a believer, worked with scientists to refine brine disposal, protecting the Gulf's marine life. Their biggest test came when a pipeline burst deep underground, threatening to flood a construction site. Aisha led a daring repair mission, descending into the dark tunnels with her team. For 48 hours, they worked in claustrophobic heat, sealing the breach just before it could derail the project. When they emerged, covered in dust and triumph, Khalid hugged Aisha and said, You were right. We're not fighting the desert, we're rewriting its story. Today, Aisha and Khalid's legacy flows through Dubai's veins. The underground river delivers 1.2 billion gallons of water daily. The Hatta green belt blooms with 2 million trees. And the city's wastewater plants recycle enough to keep the Miracle Garden in full color. But the story's not over. With the population soaring and climate change looming, Aisha's now leading a new mission to make Dubai the world's first fully sustainable dessert city by 2050. Her latest project, a network of eye-powered hydroponic farms that could feed millions using just a fraction of the water. The dessert taught us to dream big, she says, standing atop the Hadda Dam, the wind carrying her words across the dunes, and we're just getting started. The bison real legacy. From dams in the mountains to pipelines under the sand, from desalination plants to recycled rivers, the bison water saga is a testament to human ambition. Aisha Khalid and countless others have turned rumors of buried salt water into a reality that's nothing short of unreal. This is a city that builds islands in the shape of palm trees, a ski slope in the desert, and a tower that touches the stars. Did you really think water would stop it? By burying millions of gallons of salt water under the sand and turning it into fresh water. The Bais created a lifeline that's as audacious as its skyline. With every tree planted, every gallon recycled, and every pipeline laid, the Bais building a future where the desert bows to its will. What's the masala in this story for you? The audacity of an underground river, the sheer scale of desalinating the gulf, the grit of Aisha and Khalid, or the dream of a green Dubai rising from the sand. Drop your thoughts below, and let's keep this unreal tale flowing. Dubai's not done defying the desert and neither are we.